Well, hi there, and welcome to the first uh, screencast in Topic 5, which is electric currents. So let's get started. We're going to first talk about uh, static electricity. And static electricity or static charge is a buildup of charge uh, of one type, either positive or negative. And one way you can transfer charge from one material to another is by contact or by rubbing. So in this case, we rub the cloth on the tube, and the electrons would rather be over here on this particular material, whatever it is, than this one. So we give them a, an excuse to transfer by rubbing, and they do. So there's a net excess charge of uh, a net negative charge over here. And because the electrons left, there's a lack of electrons, which leaves a net positive charge over on this tube. Here on this one here, we're going to rub it, and these are different materials, and the electrons would rather be over here on the tube rather than on the cloth. And uh, if we remember that unlike or dissimilar charge is they will attract and like charges will repel. And we can measure charge in a unit of the Coulomb named after this fellow right here. It's uh, a symbol is a capital C just like uh, Celsius is. It's the same letter so we have to understand the context in which it's being used so that it means Coulombs and not uh, Celsius. An electron, for example, has a charge of, is very little charged, uh, about 10 to the minus 19th Coulombs. And we can measure charge, relatively speaking, and relatively easily using an electroscope. That's a device where the uh, charge travels down to these metal leaves, and the leaves are very lightweight, so they separate. And there's a, an applet here that we can use to demonstrate static electricity. It involves John Travolta. Um, I'm going to try and play some uh, some music for this, which is be appropriate. If it doesn't come out, so, um, my apologies. We'll, we'll try it. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, never mind. So what we can do is we can scuff his foot, and just like we did with rubbing the cloth, the charges build up. And if we take his arm, bring it close proximity to the doorknob, we see we have a uh, a spark or a discharge. So the electrons jump. So let's charge them up a little more. Dance, John, and bang. Okay, let's get rid of John Travolta. Okay, well, there's the applet. And the question, can an insulator be a conductor? Well, it's not much of a trick question, and this applet is a very strong clue. And the answer is yes. And a spark is an example of that. Air, which is normally a very good insulator, can become a conductor if there's enough electrical pressure. That is enough charge buildup over here on John relative to the doorknob. Then the electrons are really encouraged to jump the gap. And insulator, conductor, it's really just a, a measure of to what degree. I don't think there's any perfect insulator or conductor. So. Uh, it's just to to what degree you're an insulator or conductor. So even air can be a conductor, and any time you see a lightning strike, that's the same thing that's happening. Air becomes a conductor. Okay, that's the uh, the section on static. Bye.